channel. I'm Crystal and today I'm going to be making a purple sea moss smoothie. Um, I have the blender here with some purple sea moss and some water and I just wanted to show you um, this is the hydrated when the sea moss is hydrated. I'm going to put this in here. The water should be um, almost to the level of the sea, sea moss. If you put it all the way up it might make it a little bit too watery. So after it's soaked, you put it in your blender and then you put water up just about to the line. What I usually do is I usually pour the sea moss in jars. I leave room at the top because I freeze it. I, I leave one jar in the fridge and then the rest of it I'll freeze. Now we're going to, after the sea moss is done, we have four jars here, now we're going to proceed on to make the smoothie. Uh, for a 32 ounce smoothie, I usually um, use one tablespoon. So I still have some residual in here, so I'm going to put one tablespoon and maybe a half because there's, al there's um, already some sea moss gel in here. Uh, you could put more. The sea moss gel will thicken your smoothie. And then um, to make the smoothie, I start with putting the greens on the bottom. So this is purple kale, and I'm going to destem it. Just take the hard stem off. You could you could keep the stem, and you can make smoothies. I mean, you could use it for juices. So we'll put this in here. Just pack it in there. I like a lot of greens in my smoothie. That's the most important part. So I'll put that in there, and then I usually uh, put some water in. I have four cups here. I'm going to put about three first and then see if it needs any more water. Then I have some pineapple that's that was frozen, but it's a, it's a little bit softer now. I had it out for a little bit. So that's uh, pineapple and then I have some berries here. Okay, and then I'll put the lid on it. Okay, now I'm going to take, take the drop and pour it in the jars. As you can see, it's pretty thick. The um, sea moss makes the, makes the smoothie pretty thick. I try to consume veggies and fruits that are dark in color. Uh, purple, you have purple veggies and fruits, you have benefits. You get anthocyanins, which help fight cancer. And so that's why I choose, I do use, you know, other colors, but I try to um, get dark colored like kale and berries and stuff if possible. Okay, let's taste the smoothie. Very good. Thanks for watching.